Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and as you can see today we are in the Mustang. I'm going to be installing a few switches somewhere in the center console. Um, I was thinking about just taking this out, the coin part, and installing the switches right at the back. So I'm going to drill some holes in the back of this, install my button, my two switches, and pop it right back in so that um, only I will know, well, you know, the switches are here and the button because they won't be in plain sight. Um, and hopefully they look nice in the back there. So let's get to making some holes in that. And the switches, uh, the function of these switches are for fuel, distributor, and starting the car. So let's get into today's video, guys. All right, guys, now that we are inside, I have the drill with the proper drill bit that I want. These are just uh, normal off and on switches. I just put a uh, wire from the distributor or wire from the fuel pump and then a hot to the other side. And that's how they're gonna work. So, two switches, one for the distributor, one for the fuel pump, and then the button is for the starter. You just press it and it starts the cut. So, um, I was thinking about putting them in like this, but then I noticed that uh, it might be a bit difficult to toggle, use the toggles. So I might just use it backwards, install it backwards and put the toggles and the button on the outside. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm now gonna drill the holes and come back when I'm done with that. All right guys, excuse the mess on the table, just got done doing it. Uh, instead of installing it face in like how it came out, I'm gonna flip it around and push it in, I guess force it in and uh, I'll be uh, uh, running the wires to it before I actually install the switches like this. But this is basically the simplest setup. Turn your fuel on, distribute on, hit the starter button, and she should start right up once you have the key in the ignition. All right, uh, I'm gonna go now and wire this up. Uh, that part is actually gonna be unique to every car that does this, so we're not gonna be using the same wires. So I'm going to skip that part in the video, but I'll come back once everything is run and uh, show you the final product. Alright guys, I've been going at it all day, but I finally got it wired up. This might not be the desired place for it because the stick has to come up here, but I might relocate the stick further back uh, using a bracket and this should be fine. This one is for fuel, spark, and then you start it. But None of these get power unless the key is on. What we can do is turn on the spark, turn on the fuel. And yeah, so <laughs> still a far away from having a tuned car because of the um, because of the uh, carburetor leaking. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's a puddle of fuel right there. So with the leaking, we're not gonna get anywhere. I'm probably gonna have to order one because uh, it's more effective to it's more cost effective to order one than to rebuild this one. It's $100 brand new, $40 for a rebuild kit, and then you gotta spend all the time rebuilding it. Looks like it's leaking right out the top hat and at the bottom here, but as you just heard guys, it starts up, so we definitely have a, a, a running motor, that's for sure. And uh, it's been such a long day. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.